There it sits in your inbox, the email you have been dreading. You know, the one that starts, please join me in congratulating Katie on her new position. <laughs> the last thing you want to do is pull out the party hats, buy cake and ice cream, and celebrate your colleague's new position. Why? In your heart, you know that you are more experienced, harder working, and more knowledgeable, yet overlooked. So what do you do? Well, you could complain to your lunch group, and you may experience a sympathetic hearing, but you are not dealing with the real issues. The real issue begins with you as a follower of Christ, having forgotten your identity and worth. We so much want our job to match up with our identity that we forget our jobs are a small facet of our identity. Secondly, undermine the person's efforts. It is tempting to go into full passive aggressive mode and make it difficult for your promoted colleague to succeed. Again, as a follower of Christ, our identity is to serve others. So passive aggressive is not a good response. Christ though, provides a different perspective on how to handle the dreaded email mentioned above. First, remember your worth. There is a quote from Christ that is completely worn out, been misused, and the last sign you want to see at a sporting event. It is the quote from John 3.16. Now just take a moment and breathe in the simplicity and power of this quote as if you're hearing it the first time. For God so loved the world you that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life that sums up my worth i am worth everything to god irrespective of my level of accomplishment at work no matter how many times you are overlooked at work god still loves you enough to sacrifice his son your worth is not determined by recognition at work. Next, support the new manager. Get on the bandwagon. Your commitment to work is to help the company move forward and perform the task you are assigned. Become a person the new manager can count on. This is what we do as followers of Christ. I know, but take a few aspirin, it'll be okay. Third, call your mentor. The importance of a Christ-based mentor is evident in these situations. Does your mentor see weaknesses or shortcomings in your work performance? Are you truly being overlooked? Can you discern the reasons why? Are you responding in a spiritually mature way? Feeling overlooked hurts. However, the feeling of hurt is not to drive our behavior. A solid understanding of our worth and our calling drives our work behavior. You see, Christ does belong in the workplace.